Hi witches, what's up, This is White Raven over here. Today's Monday, so happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. How are you witches? How's your day so far? Mine has been extremely busy. Magic Mondays are very, very, very busy for me. I start very early. Today I have a spell for you guys. Today we're going to be doing a spell. This is not going to be a teaching video. There's going to be a spell because one of you guys requested this. And there's not a lot of spells out there for you to do uh, what we're doing today. We're going to be working today with a truth spell. So when you are right and you have the truth within you, but the people around you don't believe you, what do you do so people can trust you? This is terrible. You have people slandering you, saying lies about you, and then some people are believing the people that are slandering you and not believing you. So how do we turn this around and we make these people that we need to believe us, believe us? So if this is something that is happening to you, if this is something that interests you and you may need, stick around, it's coming up right now. <sighs> what a world, what a world, which is, before I continue with this video, please take one second out of your day, your night, out of your moment right now and send some light and love to the people in Miami from the building that collapsed a couple of days ago. This is devastating. It's so, so sad that while you are in the sanctuary of your home, I, your home just collapsed on top of you and you died. Um, if you're not from the United States, there's a building in Miami that collapsed because it's a building that was sinking. Uh, so send some light and light to that people, okay? Please do me that little favor. Just one second. Just say, okay, light to the people in Miami and to all the family. All right? Thank you. All right. So... Well, which is number one, thank you very much for everybody that is visiting my channel today. If you're here, I welcome you. My name is White Raven and I'm here to teach you witchcraft, what it is to be a witch from my perspective. If this is something that interests you, please make sure to stick around, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get my videos every week. Wow, which is so, there's a few things that we're going to be needing today for this spell and I'm going to number them, okay? Number one, you're going to need a valerian root. Number two, you're going to need our old friend, the honey bear. We're going to need some honey. Uh, you are going to definitely need my commanding oil. We are going to need some hibiscus flower. We need a few things, okay? We're going to need some mint or spearmint, any mint that you have at home and mint grows like a weed. You're also going to need a glass container. You are going to need a purple candle and a little candle holder. We are going to need, which is calamus. And we're also going to need, oh my God, some licorice root. We are going to need a lapis lazuli crystal or you can get a jasper if you have it. And then we're going to need some purple cord, some brown paper. <laughs> we're almost there, which is we're almost there. I'm going to list everything in the description of the video. A purple pen and a black pen. Well, which is, I think that's all. I think that's really old. So there's a few things that you need to know when we try to influence somebody else's thinking, uh, somebody else's um I don't want to say free will. I think it's really hard to influence some free will, but we can influence the energies around people. So when you want to influence people, and I don't want to use today the word command, but let's use the word influence. When we want to influence other people, the color of influencing and commanding is always going to be purple. So when you're influencing someone, think about the color purple. Also, if you're the one that wants to influence someone else, you are the one wearing the purple. The purple is going to represent you. So in this spell, which is this purple candle, is going to represent your intentions and the influence that you want to put into the spell that you're doing. Okay? 
if you're influencing somebody else with candle working, for example, then the person that you're influencing, you want to represent with a white candle. If you are influencing somebody else with candle magic, make sure that your candle is higher than the candle of the person that you're influencing. It's very important. These are just some rules of thumb that you want to follow when you're influencing somebody else with at least candle magic. So take note, okay, witches, take note. Okay, witches, so this is going to be very simple, actually. Once you have all the ingredients and all the elements that are going to complete this spell, uh, the rest of the spell is pretty simple. The most important thing that you need to have is your intentions. This is what's going to move the spell, especially if you are desperate. Uh, but I'm not saying desperate in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying you you have a lot of sense of urgency in this spell. You really need this person to see your view, your point of view, when it comes to this situation. So you are going to write down the name of the person. And it's very important that uh, if you have his date of birth, you do it too. And you're going to do this three times. While you're doing this, witches, make sure that you are thinking about what you want to happen. His name, you're going to write with a black marker. It could be a black Sharpie. It could be any black ink pen. Now, we're going to turn this towards you, and we are going to cross that name three times with your name and your date of birth with a purple pen, which is, okay. And you have it. Once you have something looking like this, we now are going to roll this towards us. Just a little roll. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is magic, which is magic is raw, which is very raw. So I have some of my purple thread over here. You are going to cut a little piece of this thread because we're going to knot it. So please, I strongly suggest that you do this with purple and you're gonna make about three knots. By the way, thank you so very much for everybody that gave me so much love in the video last week on the Witch's Ladder. So this is going to look something like this. You don't have to keep the excess. You can cut the excess. All right. So now we're going to have our jar, which is... In that jar, we're going to put the paper that we just wrote the names on. Okay, now which is, it's very important that we add the elements that are going to be working for us. Okay, which is when you want to command someone, when you want somebody to be influenced by what you want to tell them, the most important ingredients that you're going to find out there, top, this is going to be the top, okay, are going to be calamus and licorice root. I'm going to put some calamus into my bottle. So here we are, we're adding some calamus into my bottle. You don't have to do a lot of calamus, which is a little bit will go a very long way. After that, we're going to add some licorice root. Because we want to influence somebody, I don't really, again, I don't want to say that we are commanding anybody, but we want to influence somebody's way of thinking because somebody told them a lie about us and we need to reverse what this person is thinking about us. We're going to add some valerian root and valerian root is going to help with keeping the truth and making the truth comes to surface. The calamus and the licorice root is going to help you influence a person's mind and the energy around this person. The valerian root is going to help you with the truth. After that, which is one of the most wild herbs out there is going to be mint. So I suggest for you that if you have some mint at home and you're growing some mint, make sure you dry some of that mint because mint is very good for many, many, many spell witches. So you're going to grab some of your mint and we're going to put it in that bottle. 
in the little jar that you are making is going to be a honey jar because we want to sweeten this person towards you and the mint is going to be for trust you want that person to trust you again all right the valerian was to bring the truth out the mint is going to help you with trust okay which is last we have hibiscus flowers hibiscus is going to help you with unity you want to be one with this person again maybe this is your husband maybe this is your boyfriend and somebody has tell him so many lies about you that you guys are completely apart and now you want some unity and hibiscus is going to bring that about in your life which is now that we have put the calamus, the licorice root, the valerian, the hibiscus, the mint, and your little scroll with your name and his name, now we're going to add our honey. Now honey is going to be attracting that person towards this spell. The same way you are attracted to honey, ants are attracted to honey, we want this person to see the truth. So now we're going to add the honey. And one more time, I am using all of my man's honey. He's gonna kill me. I take everything he has. <laughs> I steal everything from him, my poor boy. Lapis Lazuli is going to be the crystal that we're going to use to keep the truth always around. The truth always surfacing, always. So you're gonna put that Lapis Lazuli inside your jar. Now which is put your jar to the side. We're going to have over here, a purple candle. The only thing that I want you to do with this purple candle, which is, is to anoint with commanding oil. I have this oil in my website. This is one of my signature oils. I cannot live without my commanding oil. This stuff is very serious, witches. So let's anoint your candle with the commanding oil. Middle up, middle down. Okay, we're sending out to the universe and we are grounding this into the spell. Which is, now that you have finished with your jar, with your honey jar, for this person to actually listen to you and being inclined to trust you rather than everybody else, we're going to light our candle. Let that candle burn through. So what should you do with this beautiful jar? Well, which is... I suggest for you to keep it in your home. And if this person is going to come and visit you or if this person lives with you, try to light this candle. Nobody needs to know what you're lighting candles for. You can be very discreet and you can you don't necessarily have to have this candle. You can have a glade candle that you bought in the supermarket and you light it up at home. Just make sure that you make some holes in the candles. Not too many, just one hole is good enough. And you have some of the commanding oil in that candle. Burn Burn it when the person is there. The incense copal is an incense that is supposed to have somebody tell the truth. So let's say you live with the person that you want to believe you and the person that is lying. Or let's say you're going to meet with the person that is lying about you and the person that you need to trust you. If you get the opportunity to burn copal the incense while these two people are with you copal incense is says that influence people to tell the truth and that's it witches thank you so very much for joining me today in this awesome spell please make sure to visit my website if you want my commanding oil make sure you visit my website whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com you can email me Layer of the witch at yahoo.com. Please know that long emails won't be read. This is my social platform. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and I'm there for you every day at all times. Which is, it is always awesome talking to you. You must be very smart, but remember, which is, above all, you must stay very wicked. Bye.